I cannot not film this. This is beautiful. You kidding me? Sing better, paint dead wings. One my mumo remember and a song someone sing the fall he said remember someone for me say once the blessed and soon her storm in your den Sing grace, holy, across my memories.
Don Blink is your boy Ink. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the show. How are you guys doing on this 20th of August? Happy birthday, mom. It's your birthday today. Uh, so in the comments, I want some happy birthday, mom. Thank you. Um, today is a very special video. This is actually... <sighs> the, the, the nature corner today is amazing. But it's actually something we talked about a bit before. And it was the, the rock in a hard place. And I was talking about how um, making content pushed me, right? So already we've been filming content for an hour, which is not a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot, and it's not a lot. But in that hour, a lot of things happen. I, I've been feeling better and better and better. And I understand that the way to heal is to make content. The way that causes me pain is make, by making content. And it's weird because it's the, the antidote is also the poison. So what are you supposed to do when the poison is the antidote? Well, it is the same thing as balance. Um, if something hurts you more than makes you happy, don't do it. If something makes you more happy than it hurts you, don't stop. Stop. Sorry. Um, and I have yet to figure if it hurts me more or makes me more happy. You have to figure that out. However, um, I know I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll always stand because this is what we, we believe in. This is what we, we aim to do. This is what I hope to do. It's not so much about. I know it's, it's gonna sound goofy AF, um, but it's, it's 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 never or never was about like. See, I had a beautiful comment by Cappy yesterday, and that comment was, "You're only big enough. It's only me that you're big enough for them to notice you, the haters." And then you realize that you see all those stars, and you're like, "I wish I never did that. I wish I was somebody that nobody knew." And you think it's bullshit until you realize it. And I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, I'm not saying I'm famous, but you do understand that, uh, <laughs> even right now. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to, to, to completely ignore the haters because, again, I think that if you ignore the haters, it's because you don't necessarily care. And, of course, you can say, yeah, well, it's hurting me a lot. So because it's hurting me a lot, I'll ignore them. But it still hurts you. you know? And I found it beautiful. And it was, again, ADHD. Um, that pushed me to say Sisyphus and the rock, right? But it's exactly that. And it's the fact that I understand, the fact that you understand. Um, <laughs> it's weird because last week, um, I, uh, I've been giving the Quran, what do you do? The Quran, uh, by the guy who fixed the phone. Right? I've been reading it a little bit, and it's weird because they, they, I, don't, I hope I don't offend anybody, but the, the, um, the teaching there, Remind me of a book I've read about four or five years ago, which was 12 Steps to Stop Drinking, um, which is the Alcoholic um, Anonymous uh, booklet. And I've been reading that a lot, you know. And one of the first steps is understanding the issue. And of course, there's an addiction to social media. There's an addiction there. Um, it, it is a complete addiction. There's not a day. And it, it, it's weird, but the, the number of views, the number of followers, don't bother me, right? It doesn't bother me how, how high it goes. It doesn't bother me how much views I get. It doesn't bother me how much likes I get. I'm extremely grateful. Don't get me wrong. But it doesn't, it doesn't affect me because I'll make content. I was making content when I had zero views. I was making content when I had zero likes. So when I'm going to have those, it's going to be super cool, you know? But the fact that well, social media is an addiction in, a way, in multiple ways. It started about. It started about five years ago. Um, I was working in that place, right? And I talk about this work a lot. It's not like an excuse, it's not an excuse. Um, that place was a lot of Romanian people, and I love that place, and I love the Romanians because they treated me like family. It, it's it's weird. I'm gonna say it's very mean, but I have to be honest. Um, the Romanian the Romanian really took me in. They really, they, they, made, they made me understand the culture. They, they really like took me like a brother, right? They, they were really, really intrusive, inclusive, not intrusive, inclusive. However, um, I did see a lot of new guys. And I did see a new, the new people that were not me that weren't accepted. I saw a lot of people that weren't that weren't treated the way I was. Was treated pretty nicely. I was really treated well, and. I think it's the fact that I was I was interested in learning the culture, I was interested in learning Romanian. Um, to me, it was just fun because the work, it, it changed, it's crazy how much it changed. 
when I started at the place where I was working, which is PCT, it wasn't that much work. It wasn't that much work. And yet, it became very, very busy. So what happened was, um, and again, this is not, it doesn't have anything to do with the, the, um, the subject is still. Um, at the beginning, my boss was the boss. And at the end, uh, the company was bought, and my boss was a part owner, part manager. I remember getting more orders for more words. But the meeting is there, it was very chill. It was a really chill place. I remember afternoon, ugh, one of the best afternoons I've had was listening to the um, soccer. Listening to soccer with the boys. It was just phenomenal. It was just a, a good memories, you know? And yeah, it, it's, it's, the, the social, to go back to social media, um, I'm sorry, it's emotional, you know? To go back to social media, um, I had a, a, a period where um, work was bored because I didn't talk the language. And it wasn't, I could ask them, hey, what, is, do you, what are you talking about? And I don't think there's once where they're like, no, it's not for you. They always included me. But I didn't want to be the guy, and that was my, that was my choice. I wasn't the guy who's always said, hey, uh, let me let me learn, let me learn, let me learn, right? And I learned eventually in Romanian, but at the first full time, I didn't have the uh, the. I was I wanted to learn a little bit, but not enough, you know. Just about the time, right? Um, the reason for that is pretty simple. I was working for an agency, which was um, the office. I've been working there for years, and never never got hired. So I would do a month there, two months there, three months there, a year there. I was like, what's the point of learning Romanian? I'm not gonna stay here. But then I got hired, and I was like, okay. Uh, my apologies. Let's, re let's learn Romanian. And I've learned Romanian, and uh, it, it was actually a really cool time. But in that year, I started listening to a lot of music, a lot of shows. So the first thing, <laughs> kind of crazy, the first thing I did uh, was listening to music. And I was listening to music for eight hours a day. Um, that lasted about a month ago. About a month. Then it was podcast. The podcast lasted about four to five months. But it was always, uh, I was at a point where I was only listening to recent podcasts. And because I was only listening, listening to, re to recent podcasts, it was often the same people. Then I turned, I turned to social media. So um, there were people like Nick Bogart and Cado Avocado, um, Casey Neistat, Angry Grandpa, McDragon Nuggets. It was a lot of YouTube, consuming media, media, media. <laughs> but the truth is my addiction started when I started making content. Uh, making content in ways that Making content in ways that it's weird. Making content to push me to, to dive in, to be, you see, it's easy to be like a, a watcher, right? You watch and you're kind of part of the show, but you're not in the show. When you produce the show, you're like, okay, I'm in. If I get burned, I get burned, you know? So that addiction is like, I want to create content. I want to put content out. I want to communicate. This is a, a escape. This is, this is the social media platform is an escape for my my thoughts. It's an escape from reality. It's also my only social interaction. It's also my only um, crea creative, creative, creative um, output. It's also the fact that um, whenever I'm making content, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, you know? And, and it's super important to me because this is, again, this is the only outlet that I have. I should find some new outlet, sure. Uh, is that gonna solve anything at all? I don't know, I, I have no clue. Until you know something for certain, you can only assume. And you shouldn't assume things in life because you'll, get, you'll be wrong. So yeah, this addiction is by how much I'm putting it. And I did mention I was putting in a lot, I was putting in blood, putting tears. But that's my choice. It is my choice. It is my choice. I put too much of myself in it, right? So when I get hurt by people, by haters, of course it's gonna hurt me. However, if I'm being completely honest, I wouldn't see myself not, I wouldn't see, I wouldn't be able to, to not put in uh, effort. I wouldn't be able to, to go all, not all in. I wouldn't be able to just chill and be like, hey, it doesn't really matter if, uh, if I'm not in, you know? I, if, if, if I do something, and I've been doing that for, for my entire life, either I'm all in or I'm not in. I gave up everything. I gave up on karate. I gave up on swimming. I gave up on chess. I gave up on school. I had my diploma. The, the second I got the lowest diploma I needed, I stopped.
there's nothing wrong with that. But everything I started, I, I, I stopped. Making content is my longest time form of hobby, which is insanity. At the same time, it is what it is, right? Anywho, I love you guys. Take it easy. Have a nice day. Have a nice morning. Have a nice evening. Ciao. Don't blink it your way. Welcome to the Velcro Show. Sure. Let's do well on this third, this 20th of August. Happy birthday, mom. Uh, it is a beautiful day outside. We're feeling much better. I'm still not ready to come back to social media, but we're filming nonetheless. Um, this, this video was kind of weird to do. This video was kind of weird in a way of... Um, I'm in my head a lot lately. And again, because I don't create as much content, I don't get to exteriorize those thoughts. So the, the, the thoughts are kept in. Uh, my apologies. And the, the fact that those thoughts are, are kept in, it doesn't... Um, it festers. Which means like, oh, the, uh, the simmer, they mix different ferment, right? So um, I've been I've been I've been out of social media because of the hate comments, right? For a for two days now, which seemed like a like a not a lot, which seemed like zero. But for somebody that creates so much content, that somebody that puts so much work in content creation, it is weird not to be in it, right? Um, and and the weird thing is, which is blowing my mind. <laughs> the weird thing is, <laughs> I, I'm seeing, I'm still seeing you guys because I get notification. Still seeing familiar faces. I'm still seeing people that I love, people I care about, commenting on the posts. And I know, which is very stupid of me, but I, because I haven't posted um, since I stopped, I know which video had a lot of hate comments. So I'm seeing who's commenting on which videos and I know that some of you guys are commenting on videos that there's trolls so I'm expect not expecting but I'm I'm thinking I'm hoping I'm I'm guessing more than guessing that you guys are defending which is phenomenal you guys have been so 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 supportive and we're building a community which again I'm sorry for not taking away the hate I'll do it <clears throat> I have a couple of days of off um, I'm gonna take a decision are we keeping the hate are we fighting the hate or we're just escaping it and I don't know yet um, if I want to fight the hate, I'll fight the hate. But if I want to escape, it'll be because um, it's you guys. It'll play you guys. I want to make this a safe place for everybody. Like, trolls are going to be here nonetheless. Um, if I block the troll that I have, I'll have more trolls. It's a simple fact of balance. Once again, balance is everything. Good people, bad people. Right? They coexist. Now, coming back to the, um, to the subject. Um, you see, it's, it, it's... The community I'm building... I'm, I'm, I'm building such a positive community with some people that I love, people that I really matters to me, some people that I, I, I absolutely enjoy talking to, enjoy having in my life, enjoy being around. And it's weird because, see, it's really weird. This is a weird video to make. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is going to be a weird one. So, uh, do you think I'm weird? <laughs> this is going to be weird. Um, so I had I've had this job right, and I had this job you guys know for seven years. I I, I it closed recently, um, and I've been out of work since then. But that job was a small company. We were ten, and we were ten people that worked together for three four years, and we were forming this family. And now that I'm I'm having, and listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Before that job, right? I've had uh, I was working with agency. Uh, I was working with agency for I think it's nine years and during your nine, nine years which is a lot more than seven um i was placed in a different company you're gonna do a month there you're gonna do a year there so there was never time for me it's like it's weird it's like this kid right this kid who constantly move because his father his mother to get um to get transferred and this kid always has to move it's not making friends because you know that making friends will not serve a purpose um i stopped i stopped giving a shit about community right and that place that I just started working, that I just stopped working at, that was the first sense of community since I, that I had since fucking, since school, which is crazy when you think about it, since school. And um, it was a, a family to me. Those people, those 10 people were my family. Fucking love them. Sometimes I wish I was, it was awful sometimes, it was awful. But most of the time it was amazing. I love those people, I love those people so much. And um, I've had this, I'm building this community, I'm, I'm having people, it's crazy to say, but I've, I've had people in my comments, or in my, 
enjoying the content or communicating with me for years now. A year and a half, two years, three years, some cases. Very rare three years, but still some cases. And um, it's community, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for the fact that you guys are standing by me, right? And it's, it's weird because I, I'm feeling those... I'm feeling a sense of family, the same that I had, right? And I know it's stupid because it's social media. I know it's not the same. But I remember in my job, most of the moments, the jokes we were making, the fact that we were laughing, that we had a clown, people that were making, the same people making the same jokes for years. And it was funny because it, it, it was a emotional um, attachment to that joke. Um, I remember playing soccer. I'm, I remember listening to soccer. We had Nick that didn't give a shit about sports. Didn't give a, didn't, couldn't care less about sports. It was something we all did together, which was cool. And uh, I, I actually am very happy because I'm, I'm kind of recreating that with you guys. I've had people, I've had, especially, um, I have so much similarity with you guys, and there's this uh, this girl, she calls me like girly pop, and I fucking hate it. But it, it's funny moments, you know? And that's what you mean to me. It, it's just what you guys mean to me, is to say, it's a cool community, right? I mean, it's just really, really weird. And when I'm saying, I say this, please, guys, please. I know some people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but this is what I believe. Um, see, I know that this is gonna be a day. I'm gonna have so many followers, so many of them. I'm not gonna be able to remember everybody's name. Right now, I can still I remember names. Right, like okay, yeah, I know you. Yeah, I, I, we talked before. I'll do a live, and I'll and I'll be able to say, hey, we haven't talked before. Right? There's gonna be a day where I cannot do that. So for now, this weird feeling of creating community, having those memories, and making friends, and almost being this pet family that we're creating, this community which is my house, my home, my sanctuary. And uh, yeah, it's weird, but at the same time, at the at, at the at the same time, it's it's a beautiful thing. At the same time, it is a wonderful thing. Because I get to enjoy it right now. Understanding that something is not going to be eternal is wonderful. Because you enjoy it while it lasts. You know why you like your breaks at work? Because you enjoy them. Because they're fun. You know they're fun? And they're not eternal. Yeah. Anywho, let me guys take it easy. The silver storm. Hey, full 